You get down, you get dirty, you run, you do, there's guns, there's everything. Ah, oh, brilliant. Must be great. It is, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a dream job, actually, yeah. in, in lots of ways. And, and far, far more than I thought it was going to be. And not to say that I wasn't looking forward to it, but you never really know what a, what a job's going to be like mm. when you start it. And, yeah, the, the crew and the team and everyone that that's works on it has, has done it for so long that there's this lovely, just like, oh, must be great. comfortable sort of family feel to yeah, it. And just, Neil, obviously, has done it for years as well. Course. So he sort of welcomed me in and it's, yeah, it's been, it's been fun. It's, and there's been a lot of murders. There are lots of murders, <laughs> I have to say. In midsummer. Unfortunately, yeah. But, I, you know, I, it is a county. It's, it's bigger than just, it's not a wee tiny I village. I have to say this, yeah, because a lot of people go, how, how there, how's there anyone left in this village? I, I know. Go, well, it's not a village, it's a county. It's a county, so it's OK. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not OK. You don't ever want people to uh <laughs> No, to indeed. Murdered. That would be bad. That would be bad. But at the same time, it's ingenious. I remember Martin, Martin McCutcheon got killed with a great big giant cheese. Yes, that did happen. That yeah. rolled on top of her head. That yeah. was probably the most bizarre, I guess. Yeah, it's quite famous, that one. Yeah. yeah that, I mean, there are lots of bizarre ones. I think that's the sort of charm of it, though, is the sort of tongue-in-cheek jeopardy. So how about your character, then? How did they sell it to you? How did they say what he's like? I mean, he's obviously very handsome, because you're very handsome. <laughs> very sharp <laughs> dresser. You know, he's, he's, he's got style. He looks yeah. real good. Yeah, they made a conscious thing on that, particularly with these bigger parts. They often say that they, they want to write the character to you. Yes, that Which makes is, sense. is difficult, also, as an actor, when you're auditioning, because you've got nothing to go on, really. Right. sure. They give you some scenes, and actually, I read scenes from... The last sidekick, you know, right. I was I was reading in scene because there, there weren't any. The scripts didn't exist, mm. so you sort of go on, go in, kind of wanting to put your stamp on it and do your mm. thing. But at the same time, there's nothing really to go on, so you just have to sort of be yourself and try and be, you know, charming and witty. And, and but that's great that they'll do that for you, and it's like bespoke, really. Yeah, bespoke you're not part. the only famous person in the family, though. We've got a message from your uncle. Do you want to have a wee look? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Ah, oh, clever nephew Nick. Warmest congratulations, an interview with Lorraine. Well, there's a thing. I always knew you'd get on because you were so brilliant at charades. But hunk? Sexy? Goodness gracious me. What would your grandparents make of that? Well done. Very proud of you. That is yeah. hilarious. He always knew you were going to be... Cos you were good at charades. <laughs> I was quite good at it, yeah. Well, there you are. Um, well, well, I was all right. We were, all, we were quite good as a family, I think. But, oh, my God, that's <laughs> hilarious. I can sense... I, t I, might just, I might be wrong, but I can sense maybe a, a small bit of jealousy there when he was talking about you being a hunk. How have you handled all of that? Oh, yeah. Because, obviously, you, you, you are a great-looking boy. Of course you are. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, and I know you're modest, but that's, that's very endearing. But it's kind of part of it sometimes, isn't it? Are you laughing? <laughs> Currently, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I think it is all slightly hilarious. Yeah. You know, actors and actresses, it's, it's one of, of those things. Of course you do. Yeah. But just laugh, think, think, what would be the alternative? It wouldn't be so good. Exactly, no, it's definitely, uh, yes, it's very flattering and um, slightly silly, but... Do you get lots of letters from people? What, what, what sort of response do you get from the public then when you're out there? Um, it depends how much I sort of look for it, you know, because social media is sort of a... A thing you can kind of get a bit stuck into if you yeah. if you do, but I did want to sort of check because Midsummer's got such a, a dedicated fan base that have watched the show for so many years mm. and also all over the world. It's it's massive. It's huge, isn't it? It is absolutely everywhere. China, absolutely yeah, everywhere. Unbelievable. So I, I did want to sort of check that that people weren't going. Who the hell is this new guy? Uh, <laughs> and the general vibe I got before yeah. delving too deep, um, before I saw any horrendously negative ones, was that you know sort of welcome to the show and that I was a, a good. There hasn't been any negative addition. ones. I, I'm sure there's some. No, there's no, always no. one person out there. Yeah, that goes, that, and and isn't it crazy that you could get 99 people say you're the best thing ever, yeah. and then one person says something and that's the one thing that's burned yeah. in your head? The one that goes, this guy can't act. And that's it's, so, know, it's, so it's human God. nature, I guess, but we shouldn't be. But you don't get anything like that. You yeah, don't get anything like that. So far, so, so good. Tonight, 8 o'clock ITV, the finale. Yes. But there's more. There's loads yes. more to come. We filmed more and we start filming again more right. uh, in about a month or so. Fantastic. So that will be the 20th series, obviously, which is quite a, a, big deal. a landmark. But yes, yeah, the, the sort of deal. last one for now, because obviously they're standalone, they can sort of be for scheduled sure, for sure. wherever. But yeah, the last one for now is tonight at yeah, 8 pm. And it's, a, it's a, a classic bit of eccentric Midsummer. I can't wait for Midsummer Murders. Yeah. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.